Good morning, folks. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Uh, this is another video on fuses. And you have to be very careful what fuses you buy. And I'm just going to throw this out there. These are Chinese fuses. They look pretty neat. But once you look at something, you're going to find out that they're just junk. Alright, so here's a regular fuse. Alright, it says 20 amps. All right, and you're supposed to take these little slots right here. Man, that's my puppy. These little slots and stick your multimeter in them. The lead. on One on this side, positive. And then your negative lead on the ground somewhere. And you got twenty, you got 12 volts. And then you go to this side. That little slot right there. And read 12 volts. And if you don't, you have a yes and you have a no. Then... The fuse is blown. Yeah, you can pull them and look at them, but also they might look good, not blown. But I'm gonna show you something. Look at that. You see right there, this metal doesn't go all the way up to the top. So you'd be doing that test and getting invalid readings. You see that? That junk. Chinese junk. Oh, man. there same way with this one here's a right you'd have it in your slot 25 amps you'd go to each side right there this one and this one and you go oh my god look i ain't got no voltage and you'd be looking at the fuse going oh man it's good so i got me a power problem once again look right where yeah, I gotta hold it up to the light actually. Yep, see it right there. That's that little L shape right there. It's supposed to go all the way up to the top. Isn't that crazy? This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Simple fuse. You'd have bought thinking they were properly made and you'd have misdiagnosed. Oh, they look good, but I ain't getting volts. And you'd be chasing that thing all over the place and. Keep it simple, folks. All right? Keep it simple, Simon. Uh, this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Remember, there's a couple different ways to get me. One is the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. The ever-growing, over 15,000 members, getting ready to be 16,000 members. The RV Diagnostic and Troubleshooting Facebook page. And then there's the website where we do one-on-one, -on -one, you and I, and I teach you every, a lot of things. Multimeters, wrenches hydraulic circuits, engine drivability, transmission, gas or diesel. Folks, I'm getting ready to turn 62 this coming June next year. I've been doing this almost 50 years, and I love what I do. It's a passion. A lot of you know me. Uh, that's www.rvdiagnostics.com. It's plural diagnostics. And the other way you get a hold of me is in Seaford, Delaware, 19973. I have a... Uh, Pole barn, cemented floor, heated. Uh, you could park two 45-foot RVs in there or one and open up four slides and work on everything. You could even pull a slide in there. Uh, so if you want to get a hold of me there, I'm in the Delaware area, Peninsula. So you have to come down Route 1 or 13 or 113. Uh, you take 95, come across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, right there and come on over to the eastern shore is what we call that so if you want to get a hold of me i'm not going to put my telephone number on here but those that join my website have my telephone number now how do you get a hold of me bring your if you're traveling through this area you message me on messenger or facebook so you not only do I fix your RV, but I'm going to show you how to fix it and how to troubleshoot. So I take the time to help you learn your RV. All right. Thank you again. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Watch out for the fuses you buy. Make sure that they go all the way up into that little slot I told you where you test. Because some of them are bare to get to. Yes, you can pull it and it would look good, right? And we just found out today that looks are deceiving. All right. Thank you very much. I'm out of here.